All right, now that we have our laptop mirrored, we could easily show content, right? We could open Google Slides presentation, go to a website. Let's talk about My Viewboard Whiteboard. This is a really useful tool that we can install on our Mac. Now, this is not a normal program that you would download off a website. You actually get it through the App Store. So we're gonna go into the App Store, and we're gonna search for My Viewboard Whiteboard. This is what it looks like. So pay attention to that icon. It says My Viewboard Whiteboard, your digital whiteboard. Click Get and Install. Probably will ask for a password for your computer to do this. Uh, this is a small file. It's only about 70 megabytes. So give it a second to download. From here, you can click Open. Uh, but if you're unfamiliar, uh, this is going to go into your launch pad. So you can open your launch pad and you'll see Whiteboard there. We can also right click it or excuse me, drag it down into our shelf and we can add it as a shortcut. So let's go ahead and open whiteboard. Now, the first time you open it, it's gonna open in windowed mode. So you can see here, I can drag it around. You can also make it in full screen mode or we can resize it by dragging the corners. My suggestion is make it as big as possible. Now in the bottom right corner, you'll see this window that says activate. If you don't see that window, click on the person in the bottom right corner and you see that activate link, click activate. It's gonna ask you two things. Do you want a user or entity admin activation? We're gonna choose user. What you're gonna do here is you're going to give your whiteboard a name. So I'm just gonna use my last name and Mac. Might suggest using your room number or something like that. And then we're going to type in our email address. Your email address is your school email. Do not use your personal email. This is what's automatically gonna activate the software. So I'm gonna type in my email here. And you have to type it twice because, well, sometimes we make mistakes. So we need to make sure that our email is correct. And if they don't match, you'll get a warning saying so. Click submit when you're finished. And then you're gonna get this notification saying the software has been registered. If it says you need to go check your email, you may have typed your email incorrectly as a backup plan, just go check your email to see if you got that activation, but it should do it automatically. Now, quick little overview about Whiteboard. Uh, down here in the bottom left corner, this is our navigation. So you'll notice I have this uh, nice welcome screen that pops up. We actually wanna make a new page by clicking the new page button. And you'll see here that that takes me to page two. If I wanna make uh, different backgrounds or change my background color, go down here to the mountains in the bottom left corner. You can see here, I can switch to different kinds of colors for my background. And of course, if I'm clicking with my mouse, you can see here, I can draw and annotate. And these Mac trackpads are really great for this. I'm not gonna get into all the specifics about the tools of Whiteboard because we have a great video series that talks about what does the pen tool do and the eraser and shapes and all those things. So I encourage you to go watch the videos on my view board specifically. But let's just show you a couple quick things that we can do now that we have it. The first thing is, is that we wanna sign in. So that bottom right corner, that person that we clicked on to activate, after you've activated, it changes. Now it opens this window where we can actually sign in. You'll see a spot for your email and password. We're not gonna use our email and password. We're actually gonna click on the G, G for Google, so we can sign in with our Google accounts. Now that's gonna open up your browser, that's okay. Just choose your email from the list. Make sure it's your school email, not your personal one. When you get this notification here that says you have signed in successfully, nice job, you did what you needed to. We need to go back and open Whiteboard. The way that you can tell that Whiteboard has been successfully signed into is in the top left corner, you should see your name or your email. If you don't see your name or your email, you need to click on the person in the bottom right corner, sign in with the G and then come back to Whiteboard. So now that we're signed in, we can do all sorts of great things, such as import content down here from our Magic Box. The Magic Box is your import tool. Look at that, we can import things from YouTube. You have Google Drive. Again, I'm not gonna get into all these. You can go watch these specific videos about it, but it's nice, right? Because you can import a document and immediately annotate or write over it. 
But one of the things that I love about the whiteboard tool is the ability to do something called throw. You might be like, well, what is throw? Throws happens with our phones, with our mobile devices. So earlier I showed you uh, that we can sign in by clicking on the G. Well, you'll notice that on that sign in window, if we get back to it here really quickly, there's that QR code. So we actually don't have to click on the G if we wanna sign in. We can actually use the My View Board companion app. So I have the My View Board companion app downloaded and installed on my phone. It's available for Android and iPhone. Just go download and install it. It will ask you to sign in with your Google account. Make sure you choose your school account. It's also gonna ask you if you're a participant or IT administrator, make sure you choose the IT admin part because you are basically the boss, right? You're the teacher. So I'm gonna open the companion app here. Uh, you're gonna see lots of icons on the home screen of the companion app. Oh look, there's a QR code on the companion app. Do we see a QR code here? Absolutely. So we're gonna touch the QR code. That's gonna turn on the camera and I can use that to sign in to the whiteboard tool. So look at that. I didn't even have to click on the G. It automatically signed me in. And remember the way I know I'm signed in is I can see my name in the top left corner, your name or your email. So let's go back to this throw thing. One of the icons on my camera is a paper airplane. It says throw right there, right? Like I'm throwing it out. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press the throw button. I'm gonna press the paper airplane and it's going to ask me, do I want to use my camera or do I want to browse? Well, I'm gonna choose browse because I already have a picture that I want. You'll see here, my picture shows up. It asks me for a host name. Your host name is whatever is in the top left corner. So if that's your full email, type it out. Once you have your host name typed in, if you look at my phone, you can see I have the host name typed in. And now you can see that little mini paper airplane in the top right corner. That's what you're gonna to wanna to press next. So I'm gonna press the mini paper airplane and then I'm gonna get this animation that says throwing, right, or sending. Once it's successful, you'll get a notification on your phone that looks like this. It says success. You press got it because I'm the teacher, right? I'm signed in on my phone here and I'm signed into Whiteboard. It knows that these two devices match. So the next thing it asks me is, do you wanna open this automatically? If I say yes, you'll see here my image immediately appears on my canvas. Now I can use my select tool, which is automatically activated. Just do a little click and drag on your canvas and we can drag the corners to make this bigger. So the reason why I'm showing you this is you don't have to run down to the copy room, right? To get uh, your scans made or anything like that. Pull out your phone, open the companion app, take a picture and throw it up here. And because I'm in whiteboard, I can come in here and we can start circling the action verbs here. So that's really cool. The throw tool is for you, the teacher, right? You got a mobile document camera, run around, take pictures of things. But we can also use Whiteboard as a student collaboration tool. So remember earlier I said, hey, when you're signed in, you'll see your name in the top left corner of Whiteboard or your email. Here's a little pro tip. If you click on that, it's gonna open up this window here. See where it says interact with your Whiteboard now? It says myviewboard.com slash sharp. S-H-A-R-P-E. That's my portal. You have your own portal, right? That students can go to. This portal never changes. So you can actually have kids bookmark it. And so what I'm gonna do is I have some participants out here. They're gonna go to this page. On this page, students will have a couple options. One of them is throw. You already know what throw is. You can have students throw things up to the board. Now the big difference is students are not the teacher. So students cannot automatically open things when they throw. So there's a couple ways we can test this. Uh, the first thing is, uh, and again, I'm gonna have my participants out here start throwing something to me. But if you look there in the top right corner of whiteboard, there's a little bell. And right now it says number two on it. What that's telling me is I have some notifications. Some things have happened uh, in the background, but again, they cannot open it automatically. So if I look here, I can see that Dina has thrown something to me that Blake has thrown something to me. So I can click on their names. This actually opens the magic box 
And look, there's the paper airplane there, right? The paper airplane is my throw tool. And so here's my picture. So what I can do, double click on Blake's picture here. And what that's gonna do is it's going to open it. And here he is, he's got a great, beautiful picture of the mountains that is so pretty. So the way I use the throw tool with students is, I have them screen capture their work. Chromebooks have great screen capture tools. They can take a snippet and throw it up, or they can take a picture with their webcam of their work. They can hold their paper up, take a picture and throw it up. The point is they don't need to email it. They don't need to share it. You can open it directly in Whiteboard by having them go to the portal and click on the paper airplane to throw. So that's one way we can use Whiteboard. The other way we can use Whiteboard is we can have students do what we call a pop quiz. Pop quizzes are great ways to do some formal and informal assessment with students, and they can do it directly from their devices. So earlier I said, hey, the magic box, this is where we import. This is where we bring stuff in. That's also where throw is. Now you'll look, it's kind of hidden. So there's this X over here. Pop quiz is hidden just a little bit. So if we click on that, it's going to open up this window here. So this is where I can write my question. I can type my question, right? I can come up here and say something like, how do you feel? Now you don't have to type something out. You don't have to write something out. You could verbally ask this. It's just a space for you to do it if kids need to reference it, okay? And so what's gonna happen is my participants here are gonna start sending me how they're feeling. Now. The pop quiz tool for students is basically like giving them their own mini whiteboard where they can type or draw on it. Over here on the right, see this person with the number two, now three? This is where the student responses are going. So by default, it's hidden. If I click on the students, it's going to show their name. So I can see Dina and Blake and everybody's up here. And if I click on their name, it's going to reveal their answer. So I can flip them over and I can see what Blake and everybody's writing. Now, at any time, I can display all these results. So you'll see this eyeball down here at the bottom. If I click that, that's going to hide names or reveal names. Or if I want to make it full screen like this, see how I can make it full screen and dismiss it. Or if I want to, I can zoom in on a response. It's hard to see, but there's these little side arrows on the top right. And if I click those, what it does is it shows a larger preview. And look, I also have teacher annotation tools. Right, so if I wanted to score this, I can say, hey, plus five on this, nice job. And then I can dismiss it and it will actually save those annotations to the student. Finally, over here on the bottom left, you're gonna see a very modern technology tool. It's a floppy disk with a pencil on it. And when I click that, what that's gonna do is it lets me save the student results. I can save them to my Mac if I want to, or I can save them back to Google Drive because remember, we're signed in with Google and we're gonna have access to that. So this is just a high level overview. Again, your casting, we're using VCast to cast. We downloaded the My Viewboard Whiteboard app from the uh, App Store. We had to activate it. Make sure you use your school email to activate. And then once we're signed in, we can use tools like Throw from the My Viewboard Companion app. Remember that's on your phone. Or we can use the teacher portal to have students throw and or do pop quizzes. Now remember, if you're curious about the other tools in Whiteboard, such as pen and shapes and how to add YouTube videos and import, I recommend go watch the My Viewboard Whiteboard videos. We have a ton of them out there and they'll be really, really, really helpful for you.